But, uh, you know, he said there's only so much he can say on the advice of his lawyer, Dr. Drew, but he said, look, everyone wants to know about his wife's credibility. And with everything he said that she has said so far, in his words, she pretty much nailed herself to a cross. Mm, he said he does expect a visit in a week or two from the FBI, and he'll be talking with them. Naturally, I try to push him to ask him about what she told him about killing other people. Where? How many? He said, let's put it this way. I've been more than cooperative with every police force I've had contact with so far. And he said, uh, but she was, he wouldn't elaborate about how specific she was. He said maybe 50-50. I can tell you this, Dr. Drew, that I've been reporting since the weekend that according to a law enforcement source, even before Miranda's interview with a newspaper reporter, investigators, uh, I'm, I'm told, were well aware of her claims of killing other people because they heard the very same thing after interviewing her family, her friends, and yes, even her husband. And then huh. finally he added this before he had to hang up the phone, just tell her that I love her. So, Susan, let me Dr. ask you this. Let me ask you this. Did, did, did you get, and this is sort of maybe an unfair question, but did you get a vibe from this guy? Did you feel that he was playing us in some way, the, the press? Or did you feel that this was a really creepy guy capable of anything? You know, I, I did not get a vibe from him that he was trying to play me. I mean, this is someone who has pleaded not guilty to a, a murder himself. His his life is on the line as well. Prosecutors have said they're seeking the death penalty. I I think he was sincere. He sounded sincere to me, but obviously not wanting to give up anything. He's right. been told not to talk. Okay, got it. Thanks, Susan. Thank you so much.